yeah, come and fuck with us, where we post it every Friday, see them corner motors, then you know a nigga wildin', Jay the Gemini. What we're talking about. So, if any of you guys did not hear about this, basically, if you haven't heard about I don't know how y'all haven't heard about it, if you haven't heard about it, but there was this whole conspiracy theory or i would say scandal because actual wayfair workers did protest and do a walkout of their job over this so i'll mm -hmm. i'll say a scandal at this point that's kind of strange fam no but i Niggas mean think can... about no Bruh. but think about it no think about it the same way how when the whole jared thing happened hella subway workers okay, said fuck true, this true, shit true. i, I mean shit I, I get when your angle. job is associated with bullshit it's like do it's i stand for this to right especially in the time where and <laughs> that man, nigga bro, said man them boxes was kind of heavy man bro like that's Shit. how people was like man them boxes was heavy as fuck, like, dog like but no look so basically what happened was people were bro, matching sure. that missing children's names were matching with shelving cabinets on wayfair's website um which uh, is very strange oh i'm sorry babe nah no no pressure bro. which is very strange um i will say I will say, like, wholeheartedly, say? even though I got all the tea about this shit and I feel like I have a well-rounded opinion, one thing that does not sit right with me, and I was going to save this until the end, but I just want to say it right Get now. Get off your chest, nigga. Get that shit off your one chest, nigga. One thing that is weird with, to me is there was one girl that had a very unique last name, and her name was on the pillow. the pillow and that's weird to me but i did see that there was an option to self type in names and shit like that so maybe somebody could type that in after the fact to make it you know because there has there is a guy that came forward and admitted that he is the one that made this whole conspiracy like he's already come forward but maybe somebody else could have done that and did that but i just thought that was the thing that was so weird to me because her last name was so unique like no you get what i'm saying but so did the dude say he did all of it yeah he said he there's did, a guy that came forward and said, said he that he started it dish. no he is the one that started this like the whole conspiracy thing like this thing he is the one that started this but, did he but when it comes the... to the twitter shit and like people like that that's different all the other conspiracies and shit like he even admitted that it went out of hand that's why i'm saying i feel like other people added onto this but for the people saying like you know why is it nine thousand dollars why is it ten thousand dollars i feel like that may have been a system glitch because some people were trying to be like oh well when you get custom stuff it costs more okay look sis embroidery unless it's silk from an actual silkworm and not genetically modified like that nothing's gonna cost that much they had a system error and they fucking slipped and they fucked up like that doesn't make sense or maybe that's another thing that hasn't been explained. I don't know. The prices. I haven't really looked into it because I've been looking I haven't into either. conspiracies since a very I feel like this age. thing is a fucking conspiracy. No, but peep game though, right? When you've been doing it for too. a certain amount of time, it gets to a point where you're like, all right, do I even want to know like if this is the truth? Because even if it is the truth, they're not going to fucking believe me. But exactly, they said they were gonna supply ice with furniture, then lose that, then ice loses thousands of kids, and done have furniture, and the shit serious. Then, then I saw that too. People were trying to tie it in with ice, but you know what doesn't make sense? True. This picture right here is why that theory doesn't make sense. Why is everybody so obsessed with showing the Yandex SRC numbers and because all that shit? Because now they're trying to make it political. But no, shit. listen, That's listen. No, 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 no. But look, because I heard that theory about the ice camps. Look, Yandex is Russian, okay? Yeah, that don't got shit to do with American ice camps, like, at all. Like, and then SRC is like a child modeling agency. So right. people are like putting in SRC and then plugging in these numbers and then these kids are popping up. But when you type in Target and then you type in numbers, of course, Target is going to pop up. And then yeah. you get what I'm saying? I thought Yandex was like a search engine. Yandex thing. is a Russian search engine. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, like niggas are acting like it's like a. Yeah. OK, so but they're saying the SKU number is the same as that painting. So that's why they're saying it's weird. Right. But this, then they put in, weird. but when you put in SRC, 
SRC is like a child modeling or photography thing. So it just so happens to have the same. That's why I made the example of if you go to Google and you type in Target and you type in a bunch of numbers. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So wait, wait. Because I was just about to show you an example. I was about to go to Google and type in Target and a bunch of numbers and show you what happens. What do you notice about that two piece cactus? What do you notice about this? What what is this article different from the other ones though? And this is the type of shit that always like throws. They're a hundred thousand dollars. That's why I'm saying no, no, it's a but glitch. there's no names. There's, yeah, there's no there's names no names at all. So that was the whole reason why. Oh, that the price. Oh, these things are overpriced. Why? Because there's a custom name on it. It's 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 modeled to have an embroidered net. Where's the name on that? It's a glitch, bro. Where, I don't why think... would it glitch? The name was supposed to be the glitch. It's so weird. Bro. One of the girls that was so this girl right here, she made a video coming out and just basically saying how she did go missing when she was seventeen, but she was found within the same day and that XYZ XYZ. The reason why we personally both of us came to the same decision that we did not want to show her video is because she's we little... both can tell that she's she's mm. a little off. Like we could tell that she's been through some shit and a lot of the girls that have come forward that have been tied to these cabinets and have shit all have been all through been shit. through some kind of like childhood trauma and that's type some shit weird shit too. that's kind of weird too where it's like they don't want to openly talk about what happened when they did run away overly like right they don't want to talk about what happened when they did run away but they just want to clarify like look I'm not missing. There are actual people missing, but we just didn't. We have the other girl's video we're about to watch, but I just want to let y'all know we don't feel comfortable showing her video because she is a little off, and we we just don't think she's mentally I, I sound, got in the my fucking, opinion. What's her name vibes from R. Kelly's camp? How she was coming yeah, at like it. Like, how, like yeah. she got angry. She took the same angle. Yeah, oh, she got y'all angry. ain't missing. There's people missing. You got me messed up. You got me. But it's like, bro, people are concerned about you, bro. But you trying to spin a narrative like, oh, people making this stuff is weird. But, bro, you got to understand. Uh, especially if now some dude's saying, all right, they spun the narrative that, oh, they made this. I right. spun this shit out of control. So if they're not that specific person, which in turn didn't even upload that shit to begin with, you got to admit, it's mighty peculiar that if these were posted around the same time, these people were actually around people actually going through real world shit. I told shit. Daniel my theory, and this is the only conspiracy theory I'm going to have about the situation because I really do feel like it was a system error. And that once that dude took that system air to his advantage and other people found out they could customize pillows and cabinets too, they started doing that shit. Um, I told Daniel, I feel like when these girls went missing, that other human traffickers put a hit out on them in a sense. Like, look, this girl is missing, but I know her whereabouts and I'm going to give you 13 bands. Like, that's what, that's yeah, my little conspiracy. Watching. That's my little conspiracy. Like, how Samaya, she said she was missing. She was only missing for a day, though. But did she but truly let's know say, the extent to how I'm much saying. she was missing what if at that somebody, young age, bro? What if somebody like, was, for and, real. no, but mind you, Daniel, she's 19 now. So this didn't now. happen that long ago. She went missing at 17. But what I'm saying is, for all she knows. Niggas be wet behind the ears but at That's 19. what I'm saying. For all she knows, whoever the fuck she was hanging around, who may have been older than her, May have put a hit on her and put on the site. Hey, I know her location. Thirteen bands. What's up? That was that's the only little conspiracy theory I'ma have. But face value, Not I think people real. was fucking with the system. But if that's just me, it's, I think maybe somebody totally may have put a hit for sure. Honestly, because even with this girl that we're about to watch, she wasn't missing for that long either. But she had a posting up. I feel like somebody saw her on the streets. And was like, bro, I'm going to give you X amount of bread for this. Why does our little thingy always be popping up right when I want to do the... There we go. Because okay. it's Twitter, man. Oh, Instagram. No, that time. was our email. Oh. That Like Veronica says, she thinks that's how they were cleaning money. That's what I'm saying. I think- All that shit goes hand in hand, though. When you're talking about illicit underground activities, cleaning money, um, prostitution which in turn fucks around and leads into sex trafficking, 
Because, I mean, if you're getting technical, bro, you can't, like, niggas think it's, oh, I'm a pimp, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, nigga, what, do you, what Sorry. is that? Jesus. What is pimping women? That's trafficking, trafficking bro. bro. Like, keep it a buck, bro. Like, for real? All right, so this is one of the girls who was presumed missing, and her name was on one of the pillows. And um, she came on to this woman's show and wanted to clear stuff up. Y'all watching. Hi. Hey. Jesus. Hey. Oh, Jesus. That sounded like that. Hey. How y'all doing? That's weird. I'm listening. Go ahead, babe. Um, I went missing. I went missing in January 'Cause like how I how, how me and Daniel that? were talking about earlier about how another thing all of these girls that are coming out saying no, I'm not missing, what they all do have in common is that they all ran away due to CPS or at home issues and then she came back from running away pregnant and she's still a teenager herself. Like they all had something going on and even the other girl that we didn't show, it was blatant that she had something going on, like something they went through something. You get what I'm saying? Like, definitely. That's changed. why I feel like my little theory of like I feel like they were out in the mix while they were on the run, running away from home. Like and some cult people. Shit going on, that's what I'm bro. saying. I feel like some Again. people had some eyes on their ass and was like, "Hey, I know the location of so and so." Boom, boom, boom. But I get what she's saying. Why? Why it's like Wayfair as a company? Why would you promote this? Why would you even entertain this? Fix your glitch behind the scenes. Get people's names off of this shit. Fix all of the stuff. Why on earth on. would anything on and that then side make a public be so for that much? Right. Nikki, you can't even take that much into a bank without you having to report it to certain people. So why the fuck would you like, okay, this item is not a car. It's a motherfucking cabinet. Right. Why is it a hundred thousand dollars, bruh? And like you can't even like you fucking playing yourself, bro. But you like, know what's in, you know what I found out? Disrespectful. Wayfair, dog. Wayfair is like Amazon. Wayfair third parties can sell it. on there. So that's why I'm saying third party sellers are on Wayfair. That's but what why I'm the saying, fuck is a Kayla listen, cabinet? Listen. That's what I'm saying. A third party sellers are allowed to be on there. So for example, Apple sells the iPhone, but I have an iPhone. But it's not a Christopher Look, iPhone. No, but listen, listen. Don't interrupt. All right. Apple has an iPhone, but I have an iPhone. I'm going to go on Wayfair. iPhone, $13,000. Christina. I can do that. And you can go on Wayfair.com and look up Christina iPhone, and my third-party post is going to pop up. That's what I'm saying. So that's why I'm like, Wayfair, why would you humor this 
and entertain it and have these minors some of them are 19 18 okay but you have little kids like seven year olds and shit why would you even humor this rumor why wouldn't you fix your mistake if it was a glitch because i'm a, i'm gonna respect all opinions in the conspiracy world or whatever <laughs> Um, if it was a if it was a glitch, was. why didn't you fix it and then make a public statement? My bad, we had a glitch and we apologize for any confusion and turmoil this may have caused in people's private lives. Boom, boom, boom. Bye. Like, you could be my PR. No, I'm it's like, definitely it, it's dude. not like it's it it's always gonna be sketchy, bro. Mm -hmm. Because like people came up with all type of like explanations for it but none of that shit makes sense it doesn't make sense and listen further to what she says really? um, and i just don't know like you know this is weird my mom came home and showed me this today like and i don't know what's going on well first of all we want to say that we're glad that you're okay and i think that i think that you coming on here is probably giving us a form of relief because maybe yeah. it's somebody playing some type of sick joke or just trying yes, to get some money or something and speaking on that, it was a dude playing a sick joke because some of the girls that he used have been missing since like 2011, 2014. Like, like, and it's sad. A lot of their parents have been coming on the news and shit being like, damn, our baby been missing for a minute, bro. Like, we don't know why there'd be any fucking, any of this shit going on right now. I mean, shit. Going on with right. Like. Man. I posted this. I posted this on my story. I'm not, you know, I'm. A regular person, you know, I made a few mistakes and I went on the run and stuff from home and stuff. And I mean, this is crazy. Waker is posting me. That is crazy. And your mom's a police officer. Yeah. So I'm sure she's gonna get on top of it. I'm, I'm glad you said that's, that's fucked up. Why yeah, you gotta? Like, I don't have to do with business. it. And stuff like that because I want to take you for because this is crazy <sighs> and it, it's 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 really crazy. I just don't. And I, I, I think what we need to do, too, is hopefully those other women are safe as well. And I don't think yeah. this is what we can't lose sight of. Let's move it on, may not Because one thing that we didn't even say anything about is right when all that shit aired, there was hella niggas that got caught up for that, that shit. What shit? Sex trafficking. You remember? There was like a whole bunch of sting operations like a week ago. When niggas started talking about this shit, it was like a week to the day because I remember being like, bro, look at this shit that just blew the fuck up. Where? It, where? Yeah, like who? Who? Sexting operation? Who? Where? Bro, what? look it up. There was a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of articles started popping up. Yo, yo, there was G bullshit trying to mix with some fucking Florida Florida boy thug shit, bro. Stop. Look now. Now you in big boy jail, bro. Now you in Duval County jail. With the real, with the real. Pointing the weapon at the camera and to his own head. Dumb. Attorney Dumb John ass. Phillips represents the family of Trent Fort. He says these posts will be used as evidence in connection to the shooting death of the 16-year-old. Smith That's and Riggs sad, are bro. both charged in connection to the... It just fucks with me because every time I see him, bro, I just see my brother, bro. That shit just be fucking...